and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 -1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility. Has a hit! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited and they need filling, and fast. Forward it goes. Played towards the front men. Well weighted. And he's onside. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Played in with accuracy. He's made sure that that won't get through. Hoists it forward. Cuts it out. He's good for it! It's there! The movement so precise, the finish sumptuous. Look, if you want to be effective on the break, then the key element is always pace. That's what really rips the fences apart, and it's difficult to find an answer to it when it's applied like that. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Brought forward, what does he try from here? He's looked long this time. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Foot in, and it's played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Goes direct to the front line. Oh, good interception. It's being played forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. He's got through, it's found its way to him. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Gets it upfield. to locate someone up front. It's got through to him. And that is going to be the 
final action of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Peter, this is far from a lost cause. Yes, they've been hit once by a, a pacey opposition, but they've asserted more control and, and look capable. Leading 1-0 at the break. And we're off again. Pez United really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Dinks one in. Towering header! Oh, he did the hard part right, but not the finish. Almost the perfect move. Almost. The finish just wasn't quite at the same level. Over to the left. Lovely bit of skill. It's come loose. That's great strength on the ball. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Yeah, he's fouled him there. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. So Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. towards the front line well played he saw that coming looks to bypass the midfield drives it towards the front well positioned to make that interception well that's where he wants it time and again they are repelled that's been drilled forward. And he's going long. Cleared away. Pez United are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Oh, no question, that's a foul. to get it forward quickly out towards the flank in comes the delivery so that's it it is all over terrific contest it really might have tipped either way the margins were tiny just a goal in it but that was enough so what do you take away from it all Jim well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard.
Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim, and goodbye.